And House Republicans expected to resume their impeachment inquiry hearings into President Biden soon, all as a government shutdown appears imminent. And the House GOP facing resistance from members of their own party in the form of Senate Republicans as they are attempting to detail what they say is a link between the president, his son Hunter, and his overseas business dealings. Let's bring back Joe Khalil, who joins us live there in Washington. And Joe, we are hearing more calls from Democrats. They want to bring in Rudy Giuliani to testify. Yeah, they have. And what that's about is that Rudy Giuliani for years had been apparently in Ukraine uh, looking for evidence to build the case that Republicans are making now, which is that there was money flowing into uh, the Biden family bank accounts as a result of Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine. Recently, uh, a very close associate of Rudy Giuliani in that effort, a man named Lev Parnas, actually wrote a letter to the committee saying that there was nothing there to these allegations at all and that Joe Biden is an innocent man. So that is why you've heard Democrats today call for Rudy Giuliani to be brought forward before this committee, something that we probably didn't expect to see. But twice now they have called for votes to subpoena him. And that's why we're getting exchanges like this one right here. And I asked the question, where in the world is Rudy Giuliani? That's how we got here, ladies and gentlemen. And this committee is afraid to bring him before us and put him on the record. Shame. And the question was raised, what does this have to do with it? It has everything to do with it. Uh, so again, that's why you're hearing some of the exchanges that you're hearing. We should mention, again, Democrats twice have brought a vote forward to try to subpoena Rudy Giuliani. But Republicans have the numbers here. They're the majority. So they shut them down twice when that happened, Nicole. All right, Joe Cleo live for us there in Washington. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.